Hi everybody, welcome back to Sid's Modded Life, Season 2, Episode 82 with me, Sid. And last episode we made a very big glass dome. Um, over there. Uh, you can see it. However, uh, this episode I want to do some more work on it. I've got some building materials. Um, but we need some lava. Well, actually, we need some obsidian. Um, so we're going to head over this way, I think it was. Hang on, let me just have a look. From here, it's kind of that way. There we go. And uh, we'll go grab a wee bit of uh, obsidian. I've only got 15 left. I actually should also try and automate obsidian production. There must be a way with industrial foregoings to do it. I'd be very surprised if there isn't. Now, where is that? Where is the lava? It's over here. Here we go. And uh, we and I see you, Mr. Komodo Dragon. Hello. How are you, sir? Right, let me just sweep the area before I start looking um working on that, because the last thing I want is a Komodo dragon rushing up on me and and breaking breaking things. Um, yeah, so we need this obviously for um, da, 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 um, things. Oh, damn, what's going on here? For oh man, come on, break for um, ob obsidian pressure plates. That's the word I was looking for. And this works really well as a system, so uh, but we'll, we'll stick to that, especially with this pick, it's pretty fast. And I'll get this done, and we shall continue on over at the um, aviary, making the aviary. Um, yeah, see you in a moment. Well, it's a very shallow lava pool, that has got to be said for it. You know, it, it, it felt that looks were important, and uh, yeah, shallow. Anyway, <laughs> there should be more than enough for that. And I'll stop with that particularly oh crap and old joke. Uh, yeah, just get rid of those, keep that, and we're good. Right. So, let's head... Right, let me just help. Uh, oh, can't do that. I'm terrible at this. I'm terrible at this. No, you see... When you've got creative flight, it's very difficult to get that going anyway, so might as well use it. Yeah, so uh, there must be a way to actually get lava automated. That's not lava, obsidian. Because I'm fairly certain in, if it's probably an industrial foregoing to, to guess that would be where I would expect it to be. Uh, coming in hot. Right. Right, 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 so here, here is what we did, and obviously in here we've got this space, and this space is completely spawnable, um, I've, I've built up a few more areas, uh, in fact you can see how recently I've built up some more areas, because the grass hasn't grown back in yet fully. This area is of course completely unsafe, we do need a, a little bridge across here somehow, uh, I'll probably just do something very, very simple there. And then off this way, this way, and this way, we're going to have further airlocks. Um, so, uh, let me have a look. How are you doing? You should all be 100%. They are. I've basically been cooking eggs. Well, well, not cooking, incubating, I believe is the phrase we're looking for. Um, yeah, so we can take those. And these are, these are dead easy my lights have just gone off but the computer's still on that. that's good i think uh what else we got ostrich booby <laughs> sorry i know i always make a laugh at that but it's funny that's why kiwis yeah that should, that should give us a reasonable chance of getting those done and we'll put these down here 
And what I should do is actually bring all of the ones that I've upgraded or incubated to 100% up to the top, which is there. Kingfishers, swans. Sure, I've done more. Cranes, yep. Flamingo, cardinals. These are all 10% uh, aren't they? 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I should this one, I just saw 100% flash by. Cassowary, blue jay. These are all 10% chances. Hummingbirds. Um, we need, let's have a look. So if it's 10%, I need 18. They get 5% per blaze powder. So, yeah. Anyway, we, we do need one other thing, uh, which we're going to F7 out of there, and that is we need some glowstone, which I forgot. So let me go and grab that. Glowstone we are going to need for... Um, light, well, we're going to need it for lighting in multiple ways. Let me just bring, make sure I've got a stack of that. Um, but I'm not going to use all uh, visible lighting as well. Let's go with iron lanterns. I quite like those from Rusty. There we go. And if I take iron wood fencing, that looks. I think that's the kind of look we're looking for. And maybe take actually some iron wood withers as well. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm asleep. Um, so there's a couple of other things I need. I need some uh, more leaves. Uh, we're going to do some bespoke. My lights are going off and off, on and off here. I'm, I'm hoping we're not going to get a a power cut here because I had um, this just just before Christmas. We had a whole load of little brownouts, which apparently are very common over the stateside but they're really rare over here <laughs> when we have a power cut we have a proper power cut or nothing at all um yeah that that kind of works there now what i was thinking is we could here maybe do this uh let's get a little bit more of that going it doesn't have to be particularly Robust. Why am I using that? Robust, but it does need to be, you know, um, small. I don't want a massive great bridge here. Um, so we can do something like maybe that. With maybe a bit of this here and here. Nope, not there. That looks silly. There. Ew, I don't like that. Mm. I don't know. Let's have a look. That's wrong. Straight off the bat, I can tell that's wrong. But then maybe something like this. You know what, I hate that. <laughs> I hate it with a passion. Uh, let's have that out there. I'll have you off of here. Maybe, maybe we just stick with... Something more like this. Okay, and I mean, it looks a little bit odd, but it works. Maybe that's what we go with them. Very simple bridge going across. I'm not going to worry about health and safety. Health and safety at work, blight on mankind, I tell you. Um, okay, now I have got a fish in here, and he is, uh, he is named. He's Sammy the Salmon. Uh, fish despawn, so we are going to have to go and get some more fish. I think we're going to put mainly salmon in this one because it's a river. 
and I don't really want the CODs in there. CODs I'll probably save for the seaside dome. Um, tropical fish for the tropical dome, stuff like that. Right, 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 right. Now let me have a think. This is ironwood, isn't it, I believe? No, it's Sakura, okay. Proof, well, we've got plenty of that, okay. So, what I'm thinking is that we're going to have an air. Uh, a. ooh, that's going to need to be fixed. Um, but we're going to have a. Hmm, let me put my box down here. We'll keep this clean at this stage. Um, we'll put a block of dirt there and a block of dirt there and then we shall have a very simple like a so and then maybe we go and grab a little bit of that and a little bit of this and shake your bum uh, yeah we'll uh, get a little bit of you going and then we can have that there to there to there we'll take this flooring um, hopefully I've got a little bit of that I have actually got some obsidian pressure plates as well which is nice and to there right and then there and this will open out of this side um, so the idea is we will have one of those and that will be on this side with a pressure plate here and here. So you can walk in. I think actually, let me just think this through. I'm kind of torn. I want to come in here, but I wonder whether to take these out. So these are... You come in. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, it's iron, of course. So it requires, it requires that anyway. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, we've got an airlock. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Oh not that oh, in that one there. Right. In terms of in here, now this is all gonna be done out. That's just in there. We also need to have a think about what we're gonna do about for lighting in there. Uh, for lighting in there, I think we will go with our old favourite all right, chisel. Torches. Immersive cables. Astral. Britannia. Tools. Okay. Thought I'd got a chisel box, but clearly I hadn't. We'll grab that. We shall grab a little bit of that and a little bit of that. And we shall put in here. Oh, we also need to give it a roof, don't we, actually? What shall we go with for the roof? Maybe the same? Yeah, why not? Uh, and we'll, what we'll do is we'll hide that underneath there. And then we should do that. And here we shall... Hmm. Glowstone, glowstone. Lovely. We shall... Go in there and go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And three, I think what we'll try is something a little bit different in here rather than hiding the lighting. Which is always nice. I think we'll have a visible light like that. Why not? Right, that is the airlock 
into there done. Now what I need to do is repeat that airlock on all three sides. So let me get that done and I shall be back in a moment. All right, um, first things done, they're all in and they go nowhere obviously, they're just in and you can walk so far through and you can walk back out. And I've got those on all three sides. Um, I may bury those bits where the structure is visible, I may not, I don't know. Um, you have to let me know what you think on that one. However, this is a riverside area, so what we, apart from having more fish, what we're going to do is we are going to pop a tree in here, and we're going to go for a custom tree, a weeping willow, uh, which probably would have been better if I'd have done it like that. Uh, hup, and a bit of a hup there, and maybe... Hup, hup. We've got plenty of space to play with, so we'll we will get this up, you know, suitably high. Uh, like that maybe, and then maybe we put in. roots like a soup maybe even there like that just give this something now the one thing I don't have a lot and we probably want another one of these but we'll uh, come back I don't have a huge amount of Willow leaves, what, 39, which is nowhere near enough. But I have got some obsidian shears and some chips. But more importantly, I'm right next to a willow area because I plant a, plant a whole load of these every time. Every time I use them, I plant them because the leaves don't last five minutes. You know, they just disintegrate. They I don't know why these are so fragile, but best thing to do I find when shearing these things is to have a bash at them and then just work with whatever's left. What's over there? Nothing. And before you know it, we've got A reasonable amount of leaves. There should be enough to do at least one, maybe two. Uh, I don't know whether they'll be as leafy as the uh, other ones. I might take this one down as well, actually. Because these leaves are disintegrated anyway, so yeah, we'll, we'll. Right, grab these, back in a moment. I think that looks alright. Um, I'm not sure whether the leaves are despawning or not. These, these non standard leaves can be a bit of a pig. However, armed with that and a little bit more willow, we could make another one of those over this side, I think, and then we can start to look at some other bits and pieces. Uh, we've got a little bit more willow wood, which is good. Now, the question is, do I, I think about here, actually. Uh, maybe to about there. I think that works. And yeah, okay, let's have a look. And again, some roots. A little bit of rootage coming out this way. And maybe something similar to what we did over there. Maybe even like that works, I think. And then similar kind of affair, we'll go with a, we'll start off with a 3B3 on the top and then a
bring one out there. And then a little bit underneath. I think we'll actually give that one a little bit of a peek on the top as well. A bit more. A bit more on it. Uh, and then, again, we'll bring this one right down, I think. Oops, of course, I've just run out of flight. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't too high, but yeah. Let me uh, work a little bit more on these, and I'll probably stick a few normal oaks or something in here. I'll just grow them normally. And uh, yeah, again, I, sh I shall be back in a moment. All right, not the trees in. I've started putting a little bit of place foliage in. I want to put some of my own foliage in and put a bit of... Um, I've got a few other things I want to throw in. Some of these are chiseled. Uh, I've hidden the lighting in the logs because they don't show up too badly as being lit. Sometimes the grass does. And then we've got some visible lighting. So that's going in steadily. Um, we do have a need to have a kip and we'll continue on so i think uh, a couple of oak trees would go nicely so i think what's what's there we'll go for next if i've got the saplings if not i have to know where i'll find them willow saplings and bone meal non-existent of course it is why would it be any other way eh? okay so i need to go grab some bone meal and oak saplings back in the moment i'm growing big trees so i'm using the usual trick get a little pillar of dirt with torches on and hit that until you get the tree you want which works and you get a reasonably good sized tree up here um still not lit properly uh, but before we do that and that was all i needed from that I'll keep the bones though obviously one trick I like for making trees look a little bit more organic at the bottom is to so for example here if we uh, that was probably more than I wanted to do but We'll take that one as well, and we'll go with a bit of coarse dirt there, and there. We'll come over here, like this, coarse dirt there. Uh, probably should have put something in there as well. And then we can also throw a bit of puzzle in, um, and it just makes the ground look like it's, I don't know, um, suffering from being in the shade, and yeah, that's... So you can you know, come around here a bit and just take a few blocks out and then mix in podzels and cluster and it, it just breaks up the monotony under the tree so that's uh, going to be done around there and then lighting wise for the rest of it I'm not going to go with hidden if I can avoid it. What I, well, it is hidden, but it's going to be hidden like this. Chunk. And chunk. And these will give us a reasonable amount of light in the area. And obviously make this a safe place for all the visitors to come and well visit obviously because that's what visitors do uh pop that one up there maybe that one down there and maybe uh, another white one over there and that should by my estimate be absolutely spawn safe which is cool because we haven't used too much glowstone. Most of this is, is discrete lighting rather than totally hidden lighting. So we can get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of... Oh, I need that and that, don't I? 
yeah don't need that don't need that don't need that so I'm just going to finish off doing underneath these trees get the um, that bit done and then we'll uh, we'll see about decorating and getting some birds in here and uh, we'll be good back in a moment all right before we go sticking lots of plants in um, I've got uh, I've got another fish here uh, which is I need to find the relevant name tag that one means Sammy the salmon come here there you go right so we should have four four named fish so that's Sam that one is Sammy that one is Sammy with an I you know and over here should be Samuel the sal or salmon However, I want a few other things, so let's start off with this fella, and this fella is going to be called Errol, because I like Errol for a name, and he's kindly, and there you go, Errol the Chameleon, and we're going to have a couple of lace, oops, that's not what I wanted then, that is Flopsy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what most of these oops why are you oh I see oh you get the Mac okay Interesting. there's one lace there's another lace me are you as long as you don't try and kill the rabbit or anything else you guys will be fine Oh, right. Anyway, that's the monster balls dealt with. And then I want to stick a bit of guaranteed foliage around. That's a marsh foxtail. Should look nice around the edge of the river. There, perhaps. Maybe a little bit there. Uh, maybe even a bit there. And then we've got some of these. Quite a lot of these, actually which are quite tall. So again, these are I'm picking things that look very much like reeds um, to go around the edges of the... Okay. Can't keep rabbits in the same conclusion as those. <laughs> Today we learned. Uh, Any more? Yeah, we'll keep those for the back. Got a few of these, so we can again we can throw a few purple plants around. Uh, we've got some Hearts Delight, which is a nice tall one. And again, we'll stick these well out of the way at the back, or just this is just make sure we get guaranteed foliage of the types we want and then we got did that one book bush Ooh. no no are you sand how are you are okay that's fine then as long as we know bit of this about behave yourselves stop don't attack the guests I mean I know we're not on a server so there aren't going to be any guests but role play <laughs> a little bit of that there what else we got uh, some Tahitian spinach just throw that in hydrangeas a few of those uh, some ferns Scatter those around and then we'll get the bone meal and go ham with that. Yeah, a little bit more of this around the place over here. Shush. Oh, hissy. Right. Ho oh, and these. Mini baby tree. Oh, oh well. Baby trees. Just, they break up there. They're quite nice models actually, so... 
Uh, we'll stick a couple over this side. One more. Like so. Uh, then the bone meal. And then birdies. And hopefully these guys won't eat them. <laughs> uh, we'll have a quick sleep. Because we can. We don't need to. We're in a safe environment now. We're completely lit properly. But that doesn't change anything right um i need you and that should do for now uh, okay now what i would like to do is turn the odd one of these into giant ferns not too many of them though just enough to you know give us that bit of variety around the place maybe that one there we go and then we can just flap over here and get and again we'll turn some of this grass into large scale stuff as well uh, yeah it's kind of working again we don't want to go too mad but it does need to have the right amount of cover otherwise it will just look flat and bland have a look at that let's step back i like that that is working for me so then all we've got to do is introduce some birds and we are good now we should have uh, not penguins obviously these should be uh, not kiwis and not ostriches these are the wrong biome for those but Gonna take a couple of woodpeckers. Hmm. Actually, we're going to leave those. We're going to take a uh, couple of those herons. We need the book, don't we? I need to double check. Heron, I think is yeah. That's that's a good one. So we'll take three herons, maybe. Owls, I don't know. Ducks, definitely. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, actually, one, two, three, four. One, two, four duckies. Kingfishers, three of, maybe. A couple of swans. Cranes, I don't think. Flamingo, cardinals, ostrich. I don't think there's anything else I desperately want to put in here. So, these have all got 100% spawn chance. So, in theory... Now, as I say, the baby swan. Here you go. Oh, a broken egg. Kingfishers. What were they then? Uh, woodpeckers, okay. Beautiful birds in reality. These I saw the first one of those in the in actual in the wild uh, when we were in India. And baby duck, oh baby duck, sorry baby duck. Duck duck, goose no. Uh, right, these are going to take a while to cool down, obviously. But there's a heron, and there's another heron, and. A third heron. Now, here's a question. I don't know whether I have these in this pack. Do we have butterflies? Ooh, blue butterfly. Don't think so. That's Britannia. No, I don't think there are any uh, butterflies, so... Well, obviously the babies, we're going to have to let them grow up, so that's the next thing. And I'll be back once we've got fully grown, fully grown uh, birdies. But we uh, were, were pretty much there, I think. The lizards don't seem to be killing the birds, which is nice, even though they're rabbit killers. 
Um, yeah, I'm back in, uh, well, it'll be 20 minutes for me, but it'll be no time at all for you. Back in a moment. All right, most of the birds have grown up. Um, however, I don't know whether these guys did this or not. But obviously what we can't be doing is is working on that basis. So I am going to take them out of here. And yeah. It's always a risk, isn't it, really? Everything is about risk. Uh, for you. Where are you? Get out. So I'm trying to figure out what has actually died. I think it is probably the woodpeckers by the looks of it. Which is a shame. Come on, go on out the way, swan. Right, they are out. So I need, I can introduce a rabbit in here if I want. And so we've got swan, swan, duck. Heron, have not swan, heron, even. So what else have we got in here? There's a chameleon having a swim. Uh, swan, heron, duck, duck, goose. Uh, where are the wood? Where are the kingfishers? I did see kingfishers. There's one kingfisher. How many did I release? There's another one up there. What is it? That is a kingfisher, isn't it? I can't. Yes. So I think it's got to have been the um, the woodpeckers. So I'm going to have to release a couple more of those. I may stick a rabbit or something in here, but you know. Let's have a look. Have I got more woodpeckers? Woody woodpecker. I have got two. It's alright. There they go. Right. Um, but yeah, I think that is probably a good ending point for this. I'm just trying to see if I can't find a Good point to get a photo of all. Oh. That was a clownfish. Let's have a look. We've still got Sam. <laughs> Having fish, kingfishers might not have been the wisest idea in a. There is Sammy and Samuel. There should be four. There's another one. Down there. Yeah, I think they probably... But that was pretty cool animation, actually, if they go down and, and catch fish. Look at him. He's got a little Nemo in his beak. Um, yeah. Screenshot. So that's this first one done. Um, hopefully the woodpeckers will survive this time. Oh, they're, they're very happy with their fishers look. Very happy with the, the fishes. Herons probably fish as well. Because they are fishing fish uh, birds. So, yeah. Well, we'll see how they uh, go with the woodpeckers and the likes. Hopefully they will survive this particular thing. They're definitely in here. I can hear them. <laughs> oh, where they've gone, though. Where have they gone? Thought I saw something small over there. Maybe not. But they should be around somewhere, surely. Oh, 
Well, I've got no idea where they are. They'll probably get bigger. Oh, did someone just pop? Pop an egg. They did. Heron eggs. Cool. So the other side of this is these guys will keep popping out eggs, which is nice, obviously. There's one. Look at him. <laughs> uh, maybe the other one is on one of these somewhere. I don't know. Uh, oh, there's a, a duck egg. Cool. Um, don't eat the display dome. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will stop getting distracted by uh, all of this lot. Um, we may do something different next episode, just go and work on something else for a short while, but right now I'm happy enough with this, so, uh, yeah. We can uh, move on. Uh, but that was a shame. That was that. Live and learn. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.